Hi. So by the time you're seeing this, I think I'm at like week 13 or 14 since surgery. I've kind of lost track, but it's been a while since I've updated. So I thought I would tell you what's going on. So I think like about a week or two after my last video, I decided to go to the ER to see if they could help me or not because nothing was helping these joints. And I had so long before my rheumatologist appointment. So I went um, and they basically injected me with a steroid shot, gave me pre predis Predicina? So they gave me steroids and then they gave me an anti-inflammatory medication um, and that helped a lot actually. All of my pain went away and it was like I was back to normal for the first time since surgery. The downside though was apparently they gave me like a huge dose of steroids because I was not sleeping the entire time I was on those steroids. I would just be up all night and get like three hours of sleep and then wake up early the next morning and it was just so miserable. Like I just wasn't sleeping. So it sucked because it helped, but it also caused a new problem. But that slowly started to wear off about the time I went to see my rheumatologist. So I did finally get into the rheumatologist. I had to drive like an hour and a half to get there, but I did it. And of course I wasn't having a flare up when I was there. I had a flare up the very next day, but I did not have a flare up while I was at the appointment. She was like, you look great. But she actually said it did not look like rheumatoid arthritis. She said that, you know, usually with rheumatoid arthritis, you get the pain like in the knuckles, but a lot of my pain has been in my palm and kind of like, right here, but a lot in the palm and then a little bit down here. When I told her it was in my palm, she's like, that's not really consistent with rheumatoid arthritis, but we'll get a test anyways. So she sent me for blood work and then she also sent me for x-rays of my hands because I told her like, yeah, I can get sore all over, but the hands are pretty consistent. The hands are the worst. I can deal with everything else, but these hands are just a hot mess right now. So I went and got blood work done and drum roll please. Everything came out fine. <laughs> I actually haven't seen the doctor yet to go over the blood work, but I did get sent the blood work from Quest and I also got sent the x-rays from the hospital and everything looks normal. And I'm just like, so I don't seem to have rheumatoid arthritis, which is good, but it's like, what is wrong with me? Like, what is going on? I'm running out of options to figure out what this problem is. I can close them now, which is nice, but like there's still a little stiffness. Like if I wanna open a bottle or something, that's where things get rough. I actually did get acupuncture last week to see if that would help. And the acupuncturist thinks it's probably low estrogen. I thought from the beginning, I thought it was estrogen in my ovary, just like not waking up yet but my estrogen levels were fine. But somebody I know told me to look at my estrogen levels before surgery and estrogen levels after surgery, and it's a huge difference, <laughs> huge. My estrogen before surgery was like through the roof. Like it was just outrageous. And now I'm in like a normal range, but my body's like not used to that. So that's really the only thing that makes sense at this point is that it's estrogen because They've tested me for lupus, they tested me for rheumatoid arthritis, they've tested my thyroid, they've tested like everything and like nothing seems to be off. So I just, I don't know, but I just, I hope the problem goes away eventually because <laughs> I'm just getting tired of it. I think I mentioned in my last video, there is a thing called sleepy ovary, which is after you get a hysterectomy and they leave behind one ovary, sometimes that remaining ovary goes into shock and just like stops working because it's just like, whoa, you took my friend away, what's going on? Basically it has to establish a new blood supply or something like that and that can take some time. And while it's trying to get the ball rolling, it pretty much causes menopausal symptoms, AKA achy joints. So that makes the most sense. That's always what I've thought from the beginning is that it was just my estrogen being stupid, but we don't have answers for sure. And we're still trying to figure it out. I think it just has something to do with my body freaking out from the hysterectomy, but I really hope it's not a permanent problem and that it gets better. As far as like down there though, everything's healed great. Uh, my doctor cleared me to do everything. I can exercise again. I can do all that jazz. I have not really exercised yet. I've gone swimming and I've gone walking, but I haven't returned to my normal cardio because I just, I just don't know with this body. I have not figured out what causes a flare up. Like I thought it was exercise at first, but then I've had days where I like went outside and walked around and I felt better. And then there's some days where I go outside and walk around and then I feel worse. So it's hard to know. I will say though that when I wear the shoes that don't have orthotics in them, I usually swell. Whereas if I have my orthotics, I'm less likely to swell, which I think is interesting because I didn't break start to break in my orthotics until like after surgery really but whatever and then I thought cold weather 
caused the flare up in my joints. But then I've had days where it's cold and I felt fine. I've had days where it's hot and I felt terrible. So it's really, I have no idea what triggers the hands and I have no idea what triggers the feet. So yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. I have a follow-up appointment with the rheumatologist, I think in like two weeks or so, something like that. And I've been trying like every supplement under the sun. <laughs> I even went and got a medical card because I thought that would help, but it really hasn't done a whole lot in terms of the joints. I don't know. It's so weird because like I'll have three days where I feel great and I'm like, oh my God, I'm on the mend. Like this problem's behind me. And then I'll wake up one day and it's just like pff, stiff. And so I don't really know. But I've been trying pretty much anything I could think of. I've been icing my feet. I bought these like ginger foot pads. Like I've been elevating my feet. I bought some like little roller thing for my hands. Like I just, I've been trying everything, but there's something going on that's just making it weird. And the only thing that makes sense to me is estrogen. So who knows? It's a battle trying to figure it out, but I'm trying to get there. <laughs> I did my mom's hair for the first time since surgery yesterday and my hands like halfway through started getting stiff and it was just like, ugh, they felt like sore and I'm just like, oh my God. So I don't really know, but that's the update. So hopefully things start to get better soon. Let's do a scar update. So here's one, another one, and the last one. A lot different than what I started out with. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully I get this figured out if I know what's happening. Bye.